And welcome back. A march this Saturday in Green Bay is hoping to raise awareness about the importance of science, all while having some fun. Yeah, we're about to have some fun here, too. Joining us now is Gary Lefko. He's a local chemical engineer, and thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank uh, you, we're going to get to this little experiment in just a bit, but the March for Science is coming up on Saturday. This is a nationwide event, but it's also happening at the city deck in Green Bay. That's uh, correct. Tell us what's going to be happening. Yes, we're going to be having a, a march on the city deck. I'm going to be kicking off the event with a massive science demonstration that will be similar to the smaller version I'm going to show you here today. And uh, I'll, I'll talk a, lot, a little bit more about that in a minute, but uh, we're going to have a, a gathering on the city deck and we're going to be marching to the Brown County Central Library where there will be a science bazaar and uh, various uh, booths uh, with people that are having science-friendly organizations and things that are that are science friendly uh, on on display that you can visit so I'm okay. trying to get everybody to come on out and and show your voice for science now tell us about March for science why did this all come about right about two years ago there was a, a movement that started to kind of silence science if you will and uh, what they did was uh, started with the Environmental Protection Agency uh, they had an edict come down that they had to erase all references to climate change from their website and they couldn't disseminate any any scientific information about that and this uh, energized the scientific community and so they decided that we can't have this we can't we can't have silence for science and so uh, over 100,000 people marched on wow. Washington DC two years ago and it was actually a worldwide event uh, that that took place and Green Bay was one 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 of the satellite places that took place We're gonna have a march for that too And I'm asking people in the greater Green Bay area to come on out and make your voices heard to You know show that science is important in, in legislation and what are some things that you're going to be talking about too? What, what are you planning on addressing? Uh, I'm, I'm gonna talk about the the need to bring science fact and and research into policy making in the government It's really important that we we use reality uh, you know, there has been this, this uh, there are alternative theories and alternative opinions, but there are no alternative facts. Facts, by definition, are truth. And science is a search for truth, and we need to bring science into policy making in the government and in law. Okay, I know you've been waiting for this, Nate. <laughs> yes, I Tell have. Tell us about what, what about this 55-gallon <laughs> drum you got here. Okay, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start with this, but I'm going to implode this can of Orange Crush, appropriately. Oh, okay. And, and uh, I'm going to be using only scientific principles, uh, and I'm going to do that here for you now. It's kind of a tease because on the kickoff event this Saturday, I'm going to implode this steel drum, if you can believe <laughs> so that or not. the same way, the same. It, using the same principles, I'm going to do that, and uh, you're gonna you're gonna see a pretty impressive demonstration. Then uh, I hope you come out and watch it and support science. Bring a few signs, um, you know. Uh, the, uh, all you have is what we see, yep. uh, the planet Earth, and uh, there is no planet okay. B. You that's know? true. So, and okay. so that's going to be on a much larger scale on Saturday. But like you said, in studio, let's crush some of these crush okay. cans. Okay. What do you say, Gary? Okay, so here, here we, we go. go. Ready? Oh, look at that's that. That's pretty cool. Now, why does that happen? It's atmospheric pressure. What I'm doing yeah. is creating a <laughs> vacuum inside these cans. Ooh. Whoop, that one missed. <laughs> oh, it's still crushed. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. I'll help. <laughs> so yeah, and you said atmospheric pressure? That's right. I'm, I, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm heating it up, causing steam. Steam displaces the air, and steam condenses back into a liquid. It creates a vacuum, and that's atmospheric pressure. Now imagine right. seeing that with this 55-gallon drum. That's what Gary is going to be doing oh. Saturday Very at cool. the March for Science. It's going to be happening at the city deck from 11 a.m. till noon. Go out there, support a good cause, and uh, go meet Gary. Ask some questions, and it's also to raise awareness for more uh, science. Just can't get enough of it. So, Gary, thank you so much for your demonstration okay. and for being thank here you. this morning. Yeah. We'll get a check on your rainy-looking forecast coming up on Local 5 this morning.